Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. I just wanted to show you what's been going on with the Redivis APRS project that I've been working on. I'm pretty sure I did something that messed this up, but it looks like it's software only, not really hardware related. Let me, uh, let me rearrange the camera and I will show you what I'm talking about. So I just powered it up by plugging it into my power pole distribution center here. You can hear that there's some signal coming out, but these knobs don't work. These buttons don't work. This, this power button doesn't work. The PTT button doesn't work. If I push up down, you can hear that it's making the, the electrical connection on the up button. And I'm wondering if this is some kind of lockout. So this is the, the AB button on the microphone. That works just fine. I can push keys on the on the keypad here. I'm pushing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, star, but no PTT. And I'm thinking this is a software thing. So here's why I think it's a software thing. I'm gonna unplug the power and that's gonna disconnect it. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. I wanna hold down the function and the P4 button while it powers up, but I've only got two hands, so we gotta do this quick. All right, function and P4 pressed, and that gets us into test mode. And now we're in test mode. PTT doesn't work, up and down doesn't work. We can see firmware is 1.10. So like the AB button works here. And that is my diagnosis there. The, the radio almost works and I can't, I can't turn it off and I can't go into the menu. So I can't do the firmware upgrade to fix it. I can't do the factory reset. So there we have it. That's the end of that one. This radio is going back to Redivis to be repaired. All right, so like I showed you, I think it's software related. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I did try the lockout feature, but in order to do the lockout, the, the VFO lock feature, you have to be able to push buttons and I can't push the buttons to put it into lock or to take it out of lock. So I'm out of lock. What has taken me so long to get to this point is Redivis has a website that has a problem in Firefox. So if you are a Redivis customer and you need support on a Redivis radio, you're going to need to use Chrome. There is a form to email that doesn't seem to work. There is a link in the middle of the page that doesn't seem to work at the very bottom. I wanna say bottom right, there is a support you know, little chat widget where you can talk to user support. That doesn't even show up in Firefox. You gotta go into Chrome. Firefox is, I mean, there's only three big browsers and they're all free. And it's pretty widely known that Firefox and now Edge, Edge is Chrome. So if you can work in Chrome, you can probably work in Edge, no problems there. And then there's a couple of other ones, but most of them are all based on Chrome. Like Brave is a cool browser, but Brave is based on Chrome as well. So if you're having trouble getting a hold of Redivis for customer support, reach out to them using a Chrome-based browser. That's my big pro tip for you in this video and a little status update as to why this RT95 has not been on the channel here recently. I do wanna get back into doing APRS with this thing. I think it's a fantastic platform. I've got a little card that I am working on that should make it easier to make connections to radios like this and be able to PTT and get them set up for a dire wolf and APRS work. I, I, I've got plans for this thing. I just can't, I can't make it happen. So I'm boxing this thing up and it's getting out on the road today. So that's all I had for you today. There's a video right over here. I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.